dear members of teaching and non teaching staff students of undergraduate courses postgraduate courses ncc cadets volunteers from nss red cross trainees of jkcs and other student support services press electronic media and elite of the town of rajmandri a very good evening to all of you at the outset i wish you all a happy republic day on the occasion of the 70th republic day celebrations after receiving independence from british clutches on 15th august 1947 constituent assembly was formed to create its own constitution under the president one of the most important and crucial committee is drafting committee which was chaired by dr b r ambedkar met for the first time in the new delhi on 9th december 19 1946 in the constitution hall which is now known as the central hall of parliament house after 10 such meetings the committee finally met on in and affixed their signatures on the draft and hand over to the chairman of constant assembly which was accepted it is the longest written constitution of any country on the earth the drafting committee took 2 years 11 months and 18 days to complete the constitution the committee has verified several constitutions all over the globe and adopted suitable items from them the constitution of india is the supreme law of india the document lays down the framework democratic 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 fundamental political code structure procedures powers and duties of government institutions and sets out fundamental rights directive principles and the duties of citizens it was adopted by the constant assembly in india of india on 26th november 1949 and became effective on january 26th 1950 the constitution replaced the government of india act 1935 as the country's fundamental governing document and india became the republic of india and declares india as a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic assuring its citizens justice equality and liberty and endeavors to promote fraternity january 26th is chosen because on this day the indian national congress called for the complete independence that is purna swaraj during 1930 so hence this day has come to be celebrated as republic day on this occasion we deserve to congratulate ourselves at the place at which the indian economy is zooming to be the dominant political and economic power in south east asia competing with china and japan the credit goes to our dynamic leadership of our prime minister narendra modi at the center and back at the state level in the field of higher education we are experiencing radical reforms our honorable chief minister has given the slogan to transform the state into a knowledge hub by 2030 we should strive hard to create skilled andhra pradesh apart from imparting knowledge education should ensure employment youth are the invaluable assets of our country ours will be the youngest nation by 2024 students should work with a sense of responsibility towards the community and the country we should we should all take an oath on this occasion to banish these anti social elements from the campus as the principal of this historic institution i have been striving hard to enhance and uphold the integrity and image of this legendary institution to international heights 
in the area of academics, I am putting in my best efforts to transform the entire academic ambience of the college. Student first has been our philosophy. Accordingly, I have focused mainly on enrichment of a curriculum, teaching learning processes, infrastructure and research in the college. In this regard, during the last two years, with the tremendous support and cooperation of my staff and students, these are some of the noteworthy achievements that we should note down. We have made under different seven criteria. If we come to the curricular aspects, the curriculum policy evolved. A regular curriculum revision based on the stakeholders feedback has been done. Presently, running 39 UG programs and P9 PG programs and 9 research centers offer PhD programs. 17 new, new undergraduate programs are started during the last two years. And new programs introduced, new interdisciplinary courses introduced, mandatory certificate courses introduced as a part of the dual program of the college, degree plus certificate. It is a mandatory for all the first year students to complete a certificate course at the word for the vertical mobility. Integration of the cross cutting issues also introduced at the environment level, consumer related, gender related, environment, uh, intellectual property rights and environment and information technology. At the teaching, learning and evaluation level, the policies, the following policies are evolved. Teaching learning policy, student admission policy, student attendance policy, student progression policy, student discipline policy and examination policy. The program outcomes and program specific outcomes and course outcomes are identified and displayed to the students and the stakeholders. Attainment of these outcomes are evaluated by mapping by mapping for the 2015-18 batch and we are touching upon the 90 percent of the result overall for the last five years. 218 working days including examination days in a year and our instruction days and instruction hours are divided like this. 75 percent is dedicated to the curriculum and co-curricular activities and 15 percent is extracurricular and extension activities and 10 percent is the skill development activities. So like this our curriculum is designed, 169 qualified full time teachers are working in this institution out of which 31 PhDs and 9 M, 19 M fields and more than 60 teachers are net and set qualified. And student satisfaction survey conducted free, very frequently online. And student learning abilities are also assessed and slow learners are identified and conducting bridge close courses, remedial course classes and tutorials and handouts are given to the slow learners. And at the same time for advanced learners, we are providing projects, study projects, add-on courses, certificate courses, skill development courses. At the innovation and creativity in teaching learning processes and we have implemented student centric pedagogy. And also, we have given top priority for the experiential and participative learning. Community service is also made part of learning. And we have brought many reforms under the continuous internal assessment and our examination system. And we have at present the 40 is to 60 continuous internal assessment and um, uh, semester and examination. And our continuous internal assessment is completely non-institutionalized and, and curricular activities made a part of evaluation. Transparency, transparent mechanism in examination related grievances. Moderation committee for paper setting, online evaluation for instant examinations for speedy declaration of results. Online feedback mechanism is evolved uh, and analyzed and placed on our website admission process made online and very transparent. And we have at present 22 research guides in our institution and having the research scholars. And we are also having the 
the mechanism, the mentor mentee system in force at the rate of 1 is to 25. Our teachers acting as mentors and they give complete counseling, 100 percent, 100 percent career counseling in our institution. And student progression sheets are maintained for close monitoring. And at the research level and innovation extension, and we have appropriate policy mechanisms are evolved, research policy, consultancy policy, IPR policy and plagiarism policy. Ecosystem for innovations and research, we have set up eight startups under Center for Innovations and Incubation uh, and Entrepreneurship and eight startups have been incubated and they are in process. Student seminars are conducted many number of times and paper and poster presentations by the students. Institutional social responsibility is one of our core value of our institution, ISR. If you come to the collaborations for research and promotion and we have BAC with BAC Mumbai and IIC Bangalore and indoor con center international collaboration is there with under renewable energy research and education with the con center of university of lewis valley united states of america and twilight and for led lamps from rapachotavaram and impact labs and uh, such as our nursery because we are greenery is one of the the part of our core uh, level uh, and vertical mobility level to the students and nano science and Crystal Growth Research Laboratory, Central Instrumentation Laboratory and under DST, FIST project and promoting research culture among the students by introducing the field based projects, surveys, field visits, interaction with experts and scientists and publication contributions of articles and chapters, the books by the faculty is highly laudable. Fruits of innovation extended to neighborhood areas that is lab to field, lab to school, teaching at social welfare hostels and sensitization campaigns are organized. At the institutional level social responsibility at for extension services ISR and five villages have been adopted by our NSS five teams and uh, out of which the three villages are declared ODF and many and uh, under Swachh Bharat Abhiyan program. We also adopted five more villages and the greenery is increased up to 40 percent and rallies, awareness programs through cultural shows, surveys have been conducted and students have collected 3 lakhs 36 thousand rupees and donated to the flood victims of Kerala as show institution social responsibility. If come to infrastructure and learning facilities, we have evolved strategic planning and deployment documents and standard operating procedures are adopted. And all our classrooms in our campus, all our class, 105 classrooms are there, all our classrooms are ICT enabled. And ICT enabled infrastructure evolved, 5 virtual classrooms, 3 digital classrooms and 32 E classrooms and one studio which will give the media as called as a media center wherein now the live telecast will be given to the students and for the public and the recorders will be record uh, lessons will be recorded and will be kept as a e content of the institution and the student computer ratio is 1 is to 7 and it's the campus campus is completely wife enabled under cc surveillance and this campus is a smart campus and our library is highly central library is highly equipped with around 1 lakh volumes titles and reference books and journals and the digital library facility is provided to our students and repographic facilities available at the, uh, for the students all the time. And InfluMinet software, the library is totally automated and InfluMinet software and 2.0 sold software version. And rare books are, are at to be digitalized and some of the books are kept in the website. And the infrastructure facilities have come to that. Under sports and games, we have the 12 station indoor gym and nine station garden fitness center which is called a open gym and national and international awards to many of our students acquired got in sports and games and certificate course in yoga and dance and music and fine arts department is also instituted in during the last academic year and if you come to the student support and progression the student progression policies evolved 
and student council mechanism is there, the student discipline policy is also evolved. And from each class, student two class representatives from one from boy and from girl, and as a student council of the members, they supervise the works under the uh, of the mentors, conducts all events, and organize health camps and on campus drives, maintains discipline and clean and greenery. And members and also our students, members of various academic and administrative committees. And we have the strong alumni association which is a registered, they participate and contributes to the development of the institution. They have constructed a pylon and statues of Radha Krishna and open air auditorium, barricade, cycle stand, endowment prizes, wheelchairs for and process for different labeled students and summer research fellowships on sites and projects also they have sponsored and purchase of equipment and materials and the laboratories also they have sponsored. If you come to the governance, leadership and management, the student admission policy is also have evolved and the governance policy is also we have, we are falling under the government of Andhra Pradesh. Well organized st organizational structure is also there for us and very transparent accountability and distribution of responsibilities ensured. College has well defined policies, statutory bodies we are having four governing body boards of studies, finance committee and academic council. And we are also having the college, college pla planning and development council. A decentralized, the administration is completely decentralized and the delegation of powers and 70 non-statutory committees have formulated at the coordinators and senior, as senior members of the coordinators and the staff as members. Student handbook is published annually. Different welfare schemes for the staff and students are also for what? The, all the students, 4092 students are insured under life insurance and life and medical health for a worth of 2 lakhs per annum. Poor students aid fund is in process as a best practice and cooperative credit society for the staff and other as for the government norms are concerned, the GIS, ABGLI and other uh, other welfare schemes are also available to the faculty. The mechanism to evaluate performance of teaching and non-teaching staff is also there. Established mechanism for institutional audit by academy, by AG and CCE, RJDC. Funding from various agencies such as UGC, DST and RUSA, etc. And innovation best practices if you come to that. And we have we are celebrate the institution is celebrating national festivals, birth and death anniversaries of freedom fighters, statesmen, and scientists, and academicians. Quiz elocution, essay writing competitions, and guest lectures also conducted. Transparency in admissions, examinations, evaluation, and administration. For women and girl students, we have taken special measures to ensure safety and security. The entire campus is under the security, security measures by 24 by 7. Discipline committees, anti-ragging committee, women empowerment and protection committee, gender sensitivity through seminars, rallies, guest lectures, self defense training, she team visits to the campus, CC cameras, compliant boxes, clean and green, clean and secure hostels, hygiene and handling ever. Uh, Eve teachers and uh, um, anti and social like early marriages and these kind of programs also we have conducted through gender sensitivity, sensitivity, sensitivity seminars. Waste management mechanism is also evolved here, recycling of the solid, liquid and e-waste e -waste management and e-waste management is through APTS and the solid and liquid waste management too we have evolved. Rain water harvesting pits are also digged scientifically 6 by 6 by 6. Green practice is also there, vehicle free day, use of bicycles and uh, Swachh Kalashala and this college has received Swachh Kalashala award by the government of Andhra Pradesh during the year 2018-19. Green landscaping and the other highlights of the institution are the follows, we are conducting seminars, workshops, 
office automation, dynamic college website, this is a www.gcrjy.ac.in, 360 degrees virtual tour under Google, vermicompost unit setup, campus radio as a startup, college campus, uh, campus app, college app, provision of LED bulbs in all the four, camp, uh, four blocks and hostels, college dispensary, the health center and provision of special amenities to the different labeled students, ramps, classrooms, dead states and wheelchairs and process, braille scripts, special arrangements at toilets and taps. In road across the campus and cement flooring, RO plants for the safe drinking water is erected in all the blocks, biometric attendance for staff and students, 20 missions have placed. Botanical garden, shade net, herbal medicinal plants are also is one of the highlight of our institution. Paintings, designing, whitewashing is done for all the buildings. Alumni association strengthened. 50 kWP grid connected solar plant is instituted. International conference conducted during the year 1718 around research, re renewable energy, research and education in collaboration with the Con Center United States of America. And this is a uh, this college is now top listed, top, top ranking one on the analyst users under the InfilNet. And we have renovated all the laboratories and renovated the PG block and renovated all the museums, renovated the Mana TV hall, seminar hall, JKC, English language laboratory, hostels, toilets and college canton. And we have uh, separate waiting halls for the students, girls too. 80 percent of these the students at present were 4092 and 80 percent of these students come from underprivileged sections and living below poverty line to make the college ragging free and to boost up the morale of the girl students and freshers anti-ragging slogans have been displayed at all the key places of the institution and also the vision and mission and core values are also placed in the campuses. Shortly in another one month, the college is going to uh, get assessed by the NAC on the third cycle. We have already submitted SSR for NAC third cycle and DVV is, was already over and we aimed at A plus plus grade right from the beginning and hope to get the grade by NAC in the month of March. Students as direct stakeholders have a vital role to play during NASIC, NAC assessment. They should provoke themselves as ideal and responsible students. They also should utilize all the provisions made available to them in the college. Student satisfaction survey and students interaction with NAC team play key role in confirming grade a plus plus upon the college. I request all the students to take an active role in all activities pertaining to NAC and prove their discipline, enthusiasm and commitment towards their alma mater. I once again take this privilege to take my teaching, to thank my teaching and non-teaching staff, students and all the stakeholders including the people's representatives. CPDC, alumni, allied of the town, philanthropists and each and every individual that has given me a helping hand in transforming this institution into what it is today. So I am sure the day is not far when we see this institution declared as a deem it to be university. I have no doubt in the days to come the institution will grow to international proposal catering to every enthusiastic learners across the globe. Thank you one and all. Jai Hind. Hello,